sometimes it is easier for someone with fibromyalgia, chronic pain, or chronic fatigue to be in charge of their own work environment, their own schedule, their own everything. Hi, I'm Scarlo, and I am here to share with you some little tidbits that I have learned as a fibromyalgia sufferer and dealing with chronic pain and chronic fatigue. I have found that for me, having somebody else in charge of my schedule is exceptionally difficult and having somebody dictate to me what they need for their work makes it exceptionally difficult for me as well. Stress is a big issue for fibromyalgia patients. Anybody dealing with chronic pain, chronic fatigue, anybody dealing with fibromyalgia, if you ask them, and those who suffer might want to take a check on stress. Now stress can be self-inflicted. It can also be things that come at you, like in a job. If you find that different things come at you at your job, they have high demands, high stress level, high energy, um, different little details. It's a matter of investigating if the stress that you're receiving from whatever your environment is for work, is it affecting your nerves? Is it affecting the stress in you? Because each of us can handle different stress levels. It's a matter of how you take it in. In my particular case, I have self-discovered that I can be my worst enemy because I tend to put on a lot of things on my plate and try and get them done, which can be a positive. It can also be a negative. I have had several different jobs relating to customer service, either by phone, in person, on a floor, etc. And you know, it just recently dawned on me, I don't know how many people who have this ailment have similar reaction as I do, but when you're in a position where you have to respond on an instinct right away, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult and your body responds in nerves, in, in, in just tensing or, or hurting or pain. In my particular case, I wasn't, it, it wasn't making sense to me. I was thinking, oh, everything's fine. Oh, I'm going to be just fine. And the reality is that I have learned that having other people in charge of my schedule, I'm horrible enough with my schedule. Forget having somebody else dictate to me my schedule. So my question to you is, do you know somebody who has this issue? And if you do, do you see them struggling when they're doing work? Number two, if you are a person who has fibromyalgia and you're struggling, do you find that you get all tensed up and you get stressed out from work? I am having a series of thoughts going through my head and I'm trying to evaluate which part of fibromyalgia I really want to focus on and I'm almost thinking that each day focusing on something different one of them being work related. Now, work, when you hear work, sometimes you can think, oh, I need to do my job. You know, you've been hired on to do something. Others, you're in charge of your own schedule. You do your own creations. You're very ingenious when it comes to creating things and you find joy from it. When you find joy and not a lot of stress, creating things can be the most enjoyable thing. And this goes for anybody. Sometimes being your own boss, doing your own thing, and doing your own creative style is exactly what is right for you. In fact, I recommend people who find joy in doing their own work and getting something out there to go for it. Some people refer to it as a side hustle. And I recommend that highly for anybody because of the fact that you can 
end up with fibromyalgia or the symptoms thereof of fibromyalgia if you don't follow your heart. You don't follow what is right for you. Some people, they want to serve others. Some people, they want to help others. And that is a good thing. Doing service to people is excellent. It's really a good idea, but we tend to overdo it on occasion. So my question to you is, do you have a need for help with ideas on different work? And if so, please let me know in the comments. If you need ideas for self work, you know, employing yourself to do work, maybe you're on SSI or SSDI doesn't mean you can't do the work from home. There are different work from home positions that you can do while on SSI, while on SSDI to bring in a little bit of extra income. Because trust me, I know these are very small stipends what they grant to you unless you've worked for like dec a couple decades. Then you can start to get something and only if you were paid reasonably you can actually get a decent amount of income. I only know this because I've actually seen it with people. Now I'm trying to explain that anybody who would like to get assistance with ideas with these health conditions or maybe your brain is just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do, aka brain fog. Um, and people can get brain fog even when you're on the job you're just overwhelmed, you're overworked, and you're trying to find something to relax and maybe end up being a side hustle. These can all end up being a brain fog and the best way to deal with brain fog is to allow it to be, find the creativity, and allow it to come out. So let me know in the comments below what your opinion is, what you think, because I've also thought about doing exercise, basic exercise ideas, work ideas, diet ideas, mental states, etc. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As a friend, person who knows somebody, family who has someone in the family, or you're a co-worker to somebody who is struggling, giving ideas on how to work through these challenges. Let me know in the comments and if you like this video and would like to see more, please feel free to subscribe.